hello everyone welcome back to dmg chemistry classes and in today's video i am going to explain two very important terms specific heat capacity and molar heat capacity and in my previous videos i discussed the term heat capacity with you and we know that heat capacity is amount of heat required to raise the temperature of the system through 1 degree celsius and here we increase the temperature of the entire system so the heat capacity is an extensive property let's explain it suppose in this container i have 100 grams of water and to increase its temperature through 1 degree celsius i require 100 calorie of heat okay then this 100 calorie is what heat capacity of this system okay and now in the second container i have doubled the amount of water here i have 200 grams of water naturally to increase its temperature through 1 degree celsius i will require the double amount of heat that is 200 calorie because the amount of water has increased so in this way the heat capacity is an extensive property it increases with increase in mass of the substance or the mass of the system okay so there was a need for the scientist to think about a quantity which does not depend upon the mass okay then this specific heat capacity came into existence so what is specific heat capacity specific heat capacity is the amount of heat required to increase the temperature of 1 gram of a substance through 1 degree celsius and this specific heat capacity will be an intensity property it will be independent of mass let us explain here here in this case to increase the temperature of 100 gram of water through 1 degree celsius how much heat is required 100 calorie which is its heat capacity okay then to increase the temperature of 1 gram of water through 1 degree celsius how much heat is required that is 100 divided by 100 that is equal to 1 calorie then this 1 calorie is the amount of heat required to increase the 1 gram to increase the temperature of 1 gram of water through 1 degree celsius so this is what this is the specific heat or sorry specific heat capacity of water okay here also i have increased the amount of water what the specific heat capacity again will come out to be 1 calorie per gram you can calculate for 200 gram how much heat is required 200 calorie and for 1 gram it will be equal to 200 divided by 200 again 1 calorie per gram so in this way specific heat capacity is independent of mass and it is an intensive property and we can also write uh, an, a formula for this uh, specific heat capacity so the specific heat capacity specific heat capacity will be equal to what is this 100 calorie this 100 calorie is heat capacity of this system so specific heat capacity is equal to heat capacity divided by what is this this is the mass of the system mass of the entire system so specific heat capacity is equal to heat capacity divided by mass of the system okay and we represent this heat capacity uh, with the help of symbol c so c and let us represent mass of the system by m so specific heat capacity will be equal to c upon m heat capacity divided by the mass of the system and i have also discussed uh, in my previous video that heat capacity c is equal to q upon delta sorry q upon delta t and i will substitute the value of c 
let it be equation number one and equation number two. So I will substitute the value of C in equation number one. Then the equation number one will become that is specific heat capacity, specific heat capacity is equal to Q divided by M delta T. So this is the required expression for the specific heat capacity. Okay. And what will be its units? Its units will be joule per kilogram per degree Kelvin or per degree Celsius. So these are the units of what specific heat capacity. Okay. And now let us discuss molar heat capacity. Molar heat capacity is the amount of heat required to increase the temperature of one mole of a substance through one degree Celsius. Okay. And what is the one mole of a substance? One mole of a substance is equal to its molar mass or molecular mass. So one mole of a substance is equal to its molar mass is equal to its molar mass okay and let the molar mass of a substance is m gram and i have told you that specific heat capacity is the amount of heat required to increase the temperature of one gram of a substance through one degree celsius okay then this means that to increase the temperature of one gram of a substance through one degree Celsius, the heat required is called as specific heat. Okay. And amount of heat required to increase the temperature of one mole of a substance. One mole of a substance. One mole mean to say m gram, which is its molar mass. So amount of heat required to increase the temperature of m gram of a substance through 1 degree Celsius will be equal to specific heat okay, into m is equal to specific heat into molar mass. Okay. So this is the required expression for the molar heat capacity. Understood? So these were the two very important terms, the specific heat capacity and molar heat capacity. Okay. So please like and share my videos and also subscribe my channel. And in my next video, I am going to discuss uh, the work done during uh, isothermal reversible expansion of an gas. So keep watching and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.